Shalom, Yeshua. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the Ophelakim. Let's preach the word in all truth and sincerity. Our launcher is like foreigner brothers, that like the heathens. But the line of outside goes back to the nation of Israel. Which nation of Israel are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is our brother you call a mom by the lesson. And um, today's lesson will be entitled Back to the Basics, the Elect or Know the True Names of the Lord. I just gonna go on some precepts and uh Lord willing, you brothers and if you sister out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, and uh this will be another installment of Back to the Basics, you know, as it was started by our apostles Elder Great Millstone, you know, beginning on with Apostle Har. You know, I just want to uh, do another segment and a lesson on on a topic uh, back to the basics. You know, because um, in the last days, you know, the elect, you know, will have the true name, will know the true names of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, who in the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. You know, because <clears throat> you know we start off uh, in Saint John four and twenty one. You know, and this one, our Lord Yahweh Shai. Uh, was speaking to the Samaritan woman, which she was a heathen by the way. You know, she was not a uh, Israelite, you see. Uh, but it reads, Yahweh Shai said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when you shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Why? Because she wasn't an Israelite. She was a heathen. It says, You worship, you know not what. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews, of the Israelites. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Yes, yeah, so, you know, in the last day, the true worshippers, which are the elect, will worship the Heavenly Father Yahweh in spirit and truth. You know, and by them doing that, they will know the true names of Yahweh by Shimon Shah, according to prophecy. You see? It says, Yahweh is the spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. See? And only the elect of Israel, the remnant, <clears throat> Israel the Most High, is going to do that. You know, because I just thought of another precept. Zephaniah 3 and 9. You know? Um, and it reads, For then will I turn to the people of pure language. The people are, are the Israelites. You know, begin on with the elect, and that pure language is the uh, Paleo-Hebrew. You know, the Lashawan Kodash. You know, Lashawan means uh, tongue or language, and Kodash means holy, the holy language, which is the the Paleo Hebrew. Paleo means the ancient. That they may all call upon the name of the Lord Yahweh to serve him with one consent. So, this scripture alone proves that the elect will know in the last days, the elect will know the true names of Yahweh by Shemoshah because. You know, pursuant to Ezekiel 37 chapter, you know, the uh the valley of uh, uh the valley of dry bones, this which represents Israelites that that that's in a dead state that don't know who they are. The elect, the Lord will waken up the elect in the last days, and they'll all, you know, call upon the true name of Yahweh Bashmosha in Hebrew on one accord. You see? So when you go to Acts four and verse twelve, says neither is there any, neither is there salvation in any other, for there for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Right, you know, because there's only one name, you know, the Heavenly Father Yahweh, and His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai. You see, because let's start off with the Heavenly Father. You know, um, the point is in verse eighteen, but I'm gonna start verse seventeen to Psalms eighty three. Uh, let them be confounded and troubled forever. Yeah, let them be put to shame and perish. Talking about the heathen nations, you know, because in this chapter is dedicated to the, you know, to the fall of Jerusalem, you know, but also the fall of, uh, you know, uh, these heathen nations that came up against Jerusalem. You know, uh, it says, verse 18, it says that men may know that thou whose name alone is, it says Jehovah, 
what we know in the ancient Hebrew, the Paleo Hebrew, there's no J's, O's, or B's. You know, and let's just prove that real quick because I have the actual Paleo uh, uh, alphabet. You know, now this is a Paleo Hebrew, you know, uh, uh, and this is a Syrian, the Aramaic Hebrew today that this, you know, uh, that they write in today, the so-called J's. You know, but this is the original, the the Paleo Hebrew, and you read Hebrew from right to left. You know, not left to right as you read in English, and it's 22 characters in uh, the Hebrew alphabet. But I'm gonna read. It says A Ba Ga Da Ha Wa Za Ha Ta Ya Ka La Ma Na Sa Ai Pa Ta Za Kwa Ra Sha Da. You know, so it's only two vowel sounds: the A and the I sound. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't get any O's no v's or no j's you know so it's on the two vowel sounds in the hebrew the i and the i sound you know so let's go back to psalms 8 3 and 18 that man may know that thou whose name alone is it says it says yahweh are the most high over all the earth yes yeah, so when you go into the word um let's, let's see where is it uh See, Jehovah, but it's really Yahweh, you know, which means the existing one because Yahweh means, the Heavenly Father true name means he is or he is to be or he exists, you know. So, Yahweh, you know, that's the true name of the Heavenly Father Yahweh. And whenever you see the Lord in all caps, you know, that's talking about the Heavenly Father, you know. Which it was first mentioned in Genesis 2 and 4. It says, These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created in the day that Yahweh God made the earth and the heavens. You see? So, when we go into our word, Lord in all caps is the same word, Yahweh. You see? So, that's the true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Uh, that's, it's like, that's the true name of the world of whom the world already calls God. His name, his true name is Yahweh. You know? So, when you go to the um, son's name, Yahweh Shai, whom the world already called Jesus Christ, his true name is Yahweh Shai. You know? And when you read Matthew 1 21, it says, And she shall bring forth a son. You know, talking about uh, 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 Mary. You know, although Yahweh Shai is biological mo mother. And thou shalt call his name, it says Jesus, but we know the Lord, this wasn't the Lord's name. And the Lord had Hebrew parents and spoke Hebrew. And J came in the late 1600s by Giorgio Tresino. You know, so this this was impossible. This wasn't our Lord's name. It says, for he shall save his people from their sins. And right, so the he is Yah, Yah and the save or, you know, or deliver. Is Hawashai, you know, because that was a prophet Hose, uh, Hosea's name in Hebrew. Let's get it real quick. You know, um, the word of the Lord, Yahweh, that came unto Hosea, the son of Beri, in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel. Now, when you go into the prophet Hosea's name, it's Hawashai. Ha, this is a ha, wa, sha, and the I character. So, Hawashai, which means salvation. You know, it said it was also uh, the prophet um, <clears throat> um, uh, uh, Joshua's name. You know, because when you go into Numbers 13, it says. Numbers 13 16. It says, These are the names of the men which Moses sent to spy out the land. And this one Moses has sent out all the spies of Israel to spy out the land of Canaan before our forefathers conquered it. You know, it says, And Moses called Oshea the son of Nun, Jehoshua. Right. And when you go to Oshea, um, Oshea, right here, Hawashai. But we go. 
to Jehoshua, it's they went off on the blue letter right here. It says right here, Yahweh Shawai, but they went off. We go um right here. Yahweh Shai. Which means he saves, he delivers, because Joshua will be the one that 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 will deliver the, the Israelites, you know, into the land of Canaan, you know, during that time, during that conquest. You know, we was conquering all the Hamite nations. You know, so uh Je Jehoshua, uh Yahweh Shai in in English it would be Jehoshua. But we know our Lord Yahweh Shai's true name is Yahweh Shai. He, he, <laughs> there's no J's in the Hebrew, you know, so that's the true name of the only begotten son in the world and called Jesus Christ is Yahweh Shai. Which the Heavenly Father Yahweh and his only begotten son Yahweh Shai, they're so called black men according to the Holy Scriptures. You see? Um Proverbs thirty and four, who have ascended up to heaven or dis or descended, who have gathered the winds in his fist, or who have bound the waters in in the garment. You know, just talking about the glory of the Lord, his power, magnificent power. It says, who have established all the ends of the earth. What is his name and what is his son's name if thou canest tell? So, the, you know, the scripture is being presented in, unto you like in a riddle sense. You know, what is his name, the heavenly father's name? And what is his son's name if thou canst tell? You know, so this proves that the name of the Lord is not manifest unto many. You know, it's, 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 it's really, you know, it's, you know, because uh, the scriptures speak about, uh, um, that speaks about um, the, the heathens are, are grieved at the name of the Lord, something like that. In Malachi, I'm going to have to get that. But, yeah, so this scripture, um, you know, proves that there's two entities, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only God Son, Yahweh Shai. You see? So, um, Numbers 13 and verse 8, And the shall come and pass in, that in all the land, and it says, Land singer of the tents, which is this land is talking about America. Babylon the Great said, Yahweh, two parts there and shall be cut off and die. So that's where we get the, the uh, t for the newly coming in, Nakim, newly coming in, brothers. Whenever we hear we say two thirds, that's we are talking about the two thirds, the wicked Israelites that's going to die in America because they're not going to repent. So that, that's where we this is where we get the two thirds from the two parts there and shall be cut off and die, which is the two thirds of Israel. But the third shall be left there, which is the elect. You know, beginning on uh, the uh, 144,000 holy apostles and prophets and, the, and, the, and the, um, the women and the children, you know, that will be saved by the elect men, you know. And, of course, the believers, you know, um, it says, verse, and it's like foreigners, it says, verse 9, verse nine and I will bring the third part through the fire, you know, because so the, the, the Lord is going to bring the elect through the fire. You know, the fire represents tribulation, Jacob's trouble, but also, you know, the fire will be, you know, when the Lord destroyed this place, the Lord's going to literally uh, deliver the elect through the fire, you know, through the chariots of Israel as this place of America is burnt, being burnt up. It says, because the elect is going to glorify the Lord in the fire, as the scriptures say, and will fire them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried, so the elect is going to be tried and tested. But it's already written that the elect, you know, overcame the wicked one. They 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 got the victory already through Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai's blood covers the elect. They shall call my name. See? So the elect, they sh they going to call on the name of the Lord. And I will hear them. I will say, it is my people. So the Lord's going to acknowledge his elect because they call upon and trust in, in his name. It is my people, and they shall say, Yahweh is my God. See, so knowing the true name of the Lord is well, is synonymous of, of getting salvation because the Lord not going to deliver you if you call upon, you know, idol Jesus Christ and God. No, you know, the Lord He wants His His people, you know, uh, to call upon Him on His true name, man. Just like, you know, with a woman. You know, you wouldn't want a woman to call you by another man's name. And the nation of Israel is a woman of the most high. So, same thing. That's 
that same concept applies to the Most High Yahweh. He, he don't. He want his woman, the nation of Israel, begin on with the elect to call upon his true name, man. Upon him, the heading for uh, Yahweh and his only God's son, Yahweh Shai, man. You know. So. So yeah, I can, that, was, that was pretty much it. You know, I just wanted to make a lesson. Uh, so like, the um. You know, the elect will know the true names of the Lord, man. You know. So, um, you know, Lord willing, I was edified. And uh, until next time, Shalom.